What's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on? Just taking care of some business. This track I was working on earlier. Going live, going live, checking something out. Seeing how everything sounds. Got the NPC X. With the Korg Nautilus. DJI Osmo Action 3 camera. Excuse the uh, moving it around. I'm going to go back to using the, um, the Roland Arrowcaster later on. It's just a lot to set up, but it's not a lot. I just use a lot of cameras. I use uh, three, three, three. I use three different cameras. So, well, use your cell phones as cameras. That way, you can um, have wireless cameras. So, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna be checking my uh, comments. Computer is over there, so everybody texting me. Got a lot of bit of Cause you know I still DJ and everything, so I got DJ gifts coming up. Um, yeah, so all different other type of notifications and whatnot. But yeah, we gonna get right into it. Um, so I was just part of uh, the Kirk State sample challenge. That drum was cool, man. That sample was hot. Um, because I hope this value you see the little meter on and everything on there, but um, yeah, that sample was hot. Um, a couple different samples. Let me go ahead and play with it a little bit. Um, all right, let me see if I'm going to the sample edit. All right, here we go. This is one of the ones I used. And there was another one. Uh, this one too. This one right here was hot. You're gonna hear all that in the elements of the track. Yeah, there was so much talent, man. Um, yeah, everybody killed these tr killed these samples. There was some other vocal chops as well. I didn't use the vocal chops. Um, yeah, I wasn't too fond of those, but you know, like I said, it's a sample challenge. You, you supply you with the samples, and then um, you use what you want, however you want, with whatever you use to create with. So, um, yeah, so let's go into my chops. All right. So, first and foremost, let me see what we got here. We got um, uh, this is I did a uh, I did two different intros. One with a beat behind it and one without a beat behind it. So, you know what I mean? But here's some of the chops. This is the first one. Now, as you can hear, I got el other elements in the background. See, that? that's just the, the melody. Nice, nice, simple melody. And that's another part of the melody. Got the low horns behind it. Another uh, octave. And I got my diff delay. That's another part. Yo, man, wait till you hear how I arrange this. But yeah, when I go into uh, my samples, um, I like to add diff delay to mine. So I'm trying to renew the camera right. Yeah, I like to add diff delay to mines. So you just go into the work sample screen the way I do it. And then, so whatever sample you're using, uh, I think I did mines individually. Yeah. So you can do it individually or you put it on all of them, but some of them have different effects on them. So let's say I, I say this one. So you go to your effects and then bang, it's right there. 
and then you can put a I got a 25 percent I don't know if y'all can see that yeah 25 percent of delay of diff delay and also you can um let me turn this light down a little bit I'll be right back just to see how it's gonna look hold on I'm still getting a little bit of glare, but um, headphones, got my headphones. All right, so yeah, I'm getting a little bit of glare, but hopefully you guys can get the get the gist of everything. And then um, in this one, it'll show you all the different ones, whatever has effects, whatever doesn't, doesn't have effect. All right, but let's get right to the track. Um. So, started off with uh, with uh, the intro, just the main intro. Of course, I had to put my drops on here. Let's rock. Second sequence, second sequence. That's the bridge. This one has this this one has the beat to it. This is my favorite one right here. And then I came with the outro. And I put some uh, effects on my um, on my drops. Yeah, if anybody watching, make sure you like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I appreciate everybody's support. Um, but yeah, let's 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 play with some of these samples. Let's see if I can come up with something new. Um, that was always my thing, man. Trying to come up with as many different tracks as I could because there was a time where yeah, I had the ASR 10. It didn't have any sounds in there. You know what I'm saying? So it was like. Yeah, you do the best what you can. So I had a lot of tracks that would have the same sample, but different speeds or you know different octaves and things of that nature. So let's see what I can create. So I do have everything set up at 94 beats per minute in respect to the the warping and the timing of what's this? <laughs> 
Oh, no, that's a different song. But, um, a different program. But yeah, in respect to the time of the sample, so um, yeah, it was just nothing. All right, he's going to do something completely, completely. There we go. Completely new. We're going to use that 94 beats per minute. Uh, let's do eight bars. Let's just see what I got on here. Let me go back to the programs. Let's see what they got. What I got. Just listen, let me see. already made a beat with this one. I've always make another beat, of course, but, you know, sometimes it's 135. Yeah, I got... All right, so, um, let's play with these again. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. I don't normally let the metronome roll so I can get an idea. Might get a beat in my head. Oh yeah, so let's just just for you know time purposes, we're gonna rock out with that. All right, that's cool. Yeah, that's just the work. Well, you know what? Um, I normally do my samples at one eighth. Um, you know me, and I do the tracks at one sixteenth, the beats and the, the the drum kits and everything. So let's do this over. All right, we're going to roll with that. All right, rename that. So now it's not coming all right. Let me see. Let me see something. I might have to go back to 116. But now it's sounding robotic. Let me listen to it again. Uh, yeah, let, let, let me do it. Let me do it at 116. Yeah, that's what you go through when you're producing. You, the trial and error. It may come out right. It may not. It may sound okay, but then it's like no, it's not really sitting well with you. So um, yeah, I, I need this to be right. So let's do it over at one sixteenth. Cause now the double ups will come on time. So now 
what I'm thinking about is this is rolling. What I could add in between. Do, 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 do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So let me go ahead. It's already named. Go to the next track. We're going to put some drums. I normally go with my uh, with my high hats. So my high hats is on uh, this program here. My DJ Payne program. And uh, you know, of course, you could do the note repeat, but I like to I like to tap mines out. That's that's how I get down. All right, no comments. All right, let's go. Uh, Now I gotta find some drums. Me name this, name it. High hats, and I can always go back and change. Next track. All right, let's see what else I got. On. I haven't used the, G, the, the uh, these drums in a while. You see. Yeah, let's 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 let's, 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 let's roll with that, bro. Let's roll with that. Nice little snap. Let's see how this sounds. Thank you to anybody who's tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Yeah, I like this. This, this, this is this is cool. Name this. My drums. And, I, and yeah, I, I always uh not always, but for the most part, I'll put my kick and the snare on the same track. But then I'll just go into the pad mixer and um make the adjustments accordingly. Yeah, that's cool. Now you know what I gotta do. Gotta add some other elements. Back to the pain mix. See, now I'm thinking about some live drummer stuff. All right, you know I'm going to start it off with a crash. All right, let's play, let's play. That, that's going to work now. Name that. My Tom Toms. I'll just write Toms. You know what I'm saying? I know what that means. Now, give me some, give me, give me a crash. I got a nice crash on my drum kit. That's how it's going to start. 
Name that crash. I'll go put some in between. It's about to start over. Something after the drum roll. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Put it all on the same track. Something like a drummer would do. I mean, just having fun. Just having fun with it. Once again, thank anybody who's tuning in. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Now I'm going to play with some XY a little bit. Just having fun, just having fun. Might even play with some more samples. Let's see what else I got in here. You know, I'm on, I got to put my kick in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, I can add that. That's cool. That's why I always do my samples in poly so I can play over top of each other. You get the right samples, it's going to sound good layered. There you go. Yeah, see? Just that quick. Name that. Sample two or something. Sample layer. It's almost like a riser. Now let me play with some play with some uh some uh some eight oh eights. I like this. Get this a little more value. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna add this. I like that. Boom, let's hit it. No, no, no. I gotta remember what I did. Yeah, that'll work. I guess I'll name this Ghost, Ghost Kick. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still going to add my 808. I hate that. 
this. I need to delete this. This is all. I, I hate. I always hit it by mistake. I hate that. Yeah, that's nice too. All right, I'm gonna you just put this on um on uh 16 levels. Let me see what I got. Going on. Sometimes I do A7. All right, so this is one. Trying to find a good tune sometimes could be a little tedious. All right, this is one. See, I could hear these in my car when I transfer it to the car. But, um, yeah, this is. I don't know about this one. Yeah, we could probably work with this. Let's, let's, let's roll with that. Let's see how that sounds. Of course, we're going to delete it. Oops. Once again, thanking everybody who's tuning in. I definitely appreciate the support, whether you watch it now or you watch it later. So, you know, yeah, I'm building up on the, I'm on the road to 300 subscribers. So that, that's, that's, that feels good. Because I'm not going to lie, when you first start, you I'm not going to say you get a little discouraged. Especially when you're going from, like, say from facebook or other social media platforms um yeah it's kind of easier to get you know uh support and things of that nature um because you're networking and you're you're putting your time in and all this that and other and um yeah so yeah you put up a, a youtube post or you know a youtube video and you 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 might not get no views for hours and hours. And like, Damn, people don't like me. You start, you start, you start second guessing yourself. Like, do people like it? I mean, I mean, but you know, you have to get to a mindset to like, you know, do it just because you you, you want to do it. You know I mean, if it comes, that's what it says. If you build it, they will come, and that's basically how that works. So, um, my channel is targeted for. Like you said, life, you know, travel, you know, and music, you know what I mean? So, I, 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 I do a lot. I DJ, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to get into my travel stuff. And, um, of course, with the music and everything. So, um, yeah, so I've got subscribers based off a lot of different videos, especially with my vlog videos from the vacation. Another thing, uh, I do have um tracks that I put on the vlog so if anybody want to check the vlogs out feel free to do that um but yeah i'm just right now having fun focusing on the music i got some trips coming up i got one in june 
of going to Florida. So that's going to be cool. I'm going to vlog that. Um, my granddaughter's ballet recital. But um, I'm also going to go into other little videos like I use uh, for my video editing process. I'm going to do a video on that so you can see my process. I use DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's a free program. They do have a paid version, but just, you don't really need it for um, what we're doing here with YouTube and things of that nature. There's plenty of options and and uh, and features. They give you plenty of you know uh, what you call it T templates and, and 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 titles and things of that nature. Of course, you got the ones for your phone and everything. Two each their own, but I'm going to share what I use. Somebody might like it. Like, damn, I wonder what he does. How did he do it? But um, yeah, I'm gonna share all that. But right now, we getting back to the music. I'm about to end this soon. But yeah, this was from the Kurt State uh, April Challenge samples. Um, for those who may have been tuning in late, I'm gonna go back to that to that song one more time, and then let y'all hear that. And after that, I'm gonna be out. It's going on two o'clock. I got to go to work. So again, this was. My entry for the Kurt State sample. I'm gonna use Kurt State's information also in the subscription. I mean, in the in the uh, description later on, because he also got the tracks from all the producers on um his SoundCloud, and um yeah, that's that's a great way to help expose people and get the exposure, and you know help promote others and might get collabs. Let's get right to it. Starting off with the intro. Once again, I want to thank everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank everybody enough. Once again, I'm on the road to 300 subscribers, so feel free to share with your friends, other producer homies or homegirls or whatever that you think may be interested. And um, if you gain anything from this, just either entertainment, some knowledge or anything, inspiration, hit that like, hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed. Once again, this is DJ Skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> <laughs>